Alright, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 10. So for this problem, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by factoring out 3 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 10. Now, 1 plus 1, that's obviously equal to 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 10. Now, I want to get rid of this 2 because I want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Now, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is the same thing as 5. So now, this gives me another equation. I have 3 to the power of x equals 5. So how would I solve this? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 5. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x and I can actually move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 3, which is equal to log 5. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to log 5 over log 3. Now log 5, that's equal to 0 0.699, log 3, that's equal to 0 0.477. So if you divide these two, you get 1.464. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 44 to the power of 44 over 22 to the power of 22. So now to start, 44 here, this is the same thing as 22 plus 22. So now this is equal to 44 to the power of 22 plus 22 over 22 to the power of 22. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 44 to the power of 22 plus 22, that's going to equal 44 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And now I have this over 22 to the power of 22. Now this is the same thing as 44 to the power of 22 over 22 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 44 to the power of 22 over 22 to the power of 22, that's going to equal 44 over 22 to the power of 22. And now I have this times 44 to the power of 22. Now, 44 over 22, that's simply equal to 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is simply equal to a times b to the power of m. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And we can think of a here as 2, b as 44, and m as 22. So we want to put this in the form a times b to the power of m. So we know that a is 2, b is 4, 44, and m is 22. So this is going to equal a times b, so 2 times 44 to the power of m, which is 22. Now, 2 times 44, that's simply equal to 88. 
So now I have 88 to the power of 22. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of 18 minus one. So to start, two to the power of 18, well, 18 here is the same thing as nine times two. So I have two to the power of nine times two minus one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of m. So two to the power of nine times two, that's gonna equal two to the power of nine to the power of two, and I have that minus one. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, we can think of one as one squared because one is the same thing as one squared. And now that we have two to the power of nine squared minus one squared, well, we can think of a as two to the power of nine and b as one. So now I have two to the power of nine plus one times two to the power of nine minus one. Now, if you guys already didn't know, two to the power of nine is simply equal to 512. So now I have 512 plus one times 512 minus one. And 512 plus one, that's obviously 513. 512 minus one, that's obviously 511. So I have 513 times 511. So to solve this, I'm gonna rewrite both of these. So for 513, I'm gonna rewrite that as 500 plus 13. And for 511, I'm gonna rewrite that as 500 plus 11. So now I have 500 plus 13 times 500 plus 11. So to solve this, I'm actually gonna distribute both of these terms. So I'm gonna distribute 500 and 13. So I have 500 times 500, which is the same thing as 500 squared, plus 500 times 11, plus 13 times 500, plus 13 times 11. Now 500 squared, that's the same thing as 250,000. 500 times 11, that's the same thing as 5,500. 13 times 500, that's the same thing as 6,500. And 13 times 11 is the same thing as 143. So now 250,000 plus 5,500 5, plus 6,500 plus 143. Well, 5,500 plus 6,500 is simply 12,000. So I have 250,000 plus 12,000 plus 143. 250,000 plus 12,000 is 262,000. And 262,000 plus 143 is 262,143. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation a squared minus b squared is equal to 49. So to solve this, I'm going to use the property that states that if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. In this case, a squared minus b squared, a is x and b is y. So this turns into a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49. Now from here, I can rewrite 49 as seven times, or sorry, not seven, 49 times one. 49 is equal to 49 times one, so that's true. And this I can rewrite as seven times seven. Now we obviously know that a plus b is going to be greater than a minus b. So keeping this in mind, this means that we can't, we can't rewrite a plus b times a minus b as 7 times 7 as 7 and 7 are equal. So this possibility is out of the way and 49 times 1 is the only possibility here meaning we're going back to a, time, a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49 times one. So because a plus b is greater than a minus b, we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to one 
because a minus b, 1 is less than 49 and a minus b is less than a plus b. And this is also in the form a number times a number. So, and notice how this is equal to a number times another number. So we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to 1. So what we have here is a system of equations, and I'm going to add these system of equations. a plus a is 2a, b and negative b cancel out, and 49 plus 1 is 50. So I get that 2a is equal to 50, and if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get a is equal to 25. Now that we know that a is equal to 25, remember how we said that a plus b is equal to 49. So this means that 25 plus b is equal to 49 and b is equal to 49 minus 25, which is 24. So a equals 25 and b equals 24.